Okay, folks, how y'all doing? This is Marvin here. I just want to show you real quick. Um, I was able to achieve making over hundred thousand, a little bit of hundred thousand, um, in twenty twenty one. Um, actually, I, I reached my goal, but as you can see, I had over five thousand dollars in returns. So that affected my gross income. That is my gross income, a little bit over hundred thousand. But as you can see on this chart right here, it actually shows my income minus the um, returns. So my income actually was ninety five thousand, um, if, if, um, a little bit of ninety five um, thousand, and as you can see also my expenses were a little bit of fifty three thousand. So my profit, my net, my take home after everything was um, a little bit of forty two thousand. Uh, so not not bad um, for twenty twenty one. This is the first year. I was able to effectively um, track all my expenses. And what's great about um, GoDaddy Bookkeeping is that all this information, for the most part, is sent directly over from eBay. eBay sends over, every time I make a sale, the information is sent over. It sends over also the fees that eBay charge for that sale. And also it sends over the shipping labels that I purchase. All the information is automatically put into the system. And there is information that they put in. And I'll show you that by going over to my expense. So as you can see here, here's my expense chart. I had a little bit of $53,000 in expense. Um, at the bottom, you'll see shipping costs through the post office. It was over $17,000 alone. In fact, that's my highest expense that I had. Cost of goods sold. This is what that all the items that I sold in 2021. This is the total amount that I paid for all them items. That's $12,000. And I was able, off of that, to gross over $100,000 and to net over $42,000 by investing $12,000. This is amazing, folks. Where can you get that kind of return on an investment? Great, isn't it? eBay fees, you can see over $11,000. Shipping supplies, over $3,500. Gas, over $3,000. Car maintenance over two thousand, FedEx over twenty three hundred. So between FedEx and the post office, you're looking right at twenty thousand that I had. I ship a lot of big items, so that attributes to such a high um, shipping expense and so forth like that. And office supplies two thirty seven. Okay, what I'm gonna do in this chart right here, I'm gonna show you each month um, what I grossed. Um, the first in January of 2021, a little bit over 6,800. February, over 6,000. In March, I did over 11,000. That was a real good month there. April, over 6,700. May, over 7,400. June, uh, did over 8,700. July, over 8,100. August over 8400 September over 7600 October over 9300 November again a great month over 11000 and December I did over 8700 folks it was a blast last year I achieved my goal of 11 um uh, 100000 and so this year I have set my goal for 150,000, and um, I I think it's very attainable for me to be able to do that and so forth like that. It take me to do a little more grinding, put a little more effort, put a little more time to achieve that and get in great and good merchandise like I did it in 2021 as well. So again, um, I did hit my goal of 100,000, and um, whatever goals, listen, whatever goals you have for 20, um, 22. I wish you the best in whatever you do, whatever you're trying to achieve and everything like that. Just keep pushing forward and it will happen as long as you stay focused and continue to do what you need to do. All right, folks, this is Marvin and we'll see you later in our next video.